Austria in Vienna now, and um, I don't want to talk too much, but uh, I've been training for 14 years, and um, I actually know Christian from Denmark, and he used to uh, organize competitions like 14 years ago, no gi competition, and gi competition that I was competing, and uh, like uh, some beginners, we have two events, what it was uh, like MMA events back then, um, and anyways, now I'm, I'm here, and um, and I saw a lot of the guys were teaching some, some advanced stuff and I'm just going to teach something very fundamental. I'm not, not basic, but some fundamental. And um, it's a mountain skate. And um, I only weigh 6 or 7 kilos and um, when someone is mounted on me, it's not really um, that easy to just uh, uh, make space and get free. So sometimes I have to be like one step at a time. And um, so that's what I want to show. Uh, actually first I just want to show um, just to warm up, just a simple uh, uh, little defense against the keyboard, just to warm up. And um, can I turn it for you? Of course. Okay, so he's mounted on me. He got here and. Um, I'm yeah. Yes. So let's just start with this simple little move. Let's say that um, he starts to attack like the, the, the Americano love and the yes, exactly. So how to defend against this one? Um, first, you can, you can play with um, having like a heavy elbow. So I'm going to use the foot here to be heavy and um, just try and, and, and just come under my elbow over there. Just, just do the move, you know, just come under and attack it. You know? See, and, and, touch. and you're much bigger than me. So I'm just, if I'm all dead, just go under, it's easy to come back. So I just want to, I'm using the foot, I kind of put the weight on my elbow over here and, and just get under, just do it. See, and before he gets a grip, you know, this gives me some time to kind of just put the hand on the, on the, the armpit. I'm just going to bridge. And I'm not trying to escape, you know. I mean, if I try to escape, he might just do like an arm lock on this arm. So I just want to bridge him off and get back to safety. Especially when, like in my case, I'm a smaller guy. It's not that easy to bridge people off and, and do like a trap and roll escape. So here I just want to bridge and get back and be safe. So I push. See, if I stay here, he might just put the knee over and do like a belly down arm lock. So. So again, you can play with this just for like five seconds. Just have a heavy elbow. It makes it really hard for him to come under. How does it feel? Tough. Tight. So I use the foot and I just bridge. Boom. And I come back. That's what I want. I just want it to be safe. Arms in. So if you go on the other side, boom. He attacks. I put down. I bridge. And I'm in. You can go on the other. Boom. I bridge. And I bring him off. Now, if he does lose his balance here, see, and you're not doing that, you know, you're also a brown belt, so I don't expect him to lose his balance. But if he puts the leg out or something like that, he gives me a lot of space, and maybe I could, you know, you could escape, but that's not really what I'm trying. I just want to be safe, so I always have my attention. Let's just start with this from side to side. That's a simple little move here. Just do. Two, three, three, side and switch. Two, three, three, side and switch for a few minutes. Let's go. So let's go here. So I'm just gonna say one, two, and then we'll clap. Okay. So one, two. Um, like I said, I'm a smaller guy, and um, sometimes I, it's, when you're a smaller guy, sometimes it's all about spider. It's hard, and it's a really good guy, heavy guy. He mounts you. Um, sometimes you know you can't just escape and do your guard and sweep and submit. Sometimes you just have to survive. You have to kind of stay safe. And if you can't stay safe on Americana lock, it's going to be hard to do your mount escapes. So it's so just, you know, a little thing. Now, let's go into the, to the mount escape here. See, he sits high up already. My elbows are blocked. And I think most in here uh, know that the best place for me to be on the bottom is to have my, you know, elbows inside and come a little bit higher up. So, here you can also play with a little, you know, you have to be, don't be too tense. No. I want to be relaxed, my elbow is still down, and you really want to start using your, you know, you want to create some space so you can, whoops, you can bring the elbow in instead of, I don't really want to, against a guy who's much stronger, has strong legs, I'm not gonna push my elbow down, it just doesn't work, I, I, I need to move, I need to, whoops, you know, I bring the elbow in, you see, I lift up and I create space and I move it in. In. And uh, as soon as I put the elbow in, that's, that's, this is the side I'm going to skate to. I don't necessarily need to have it on, on both sides. One side is fine, just put hands on the mat. First, we just sit up again, because there's not really a good mount. He's just sitting up, so, so it, 
you know, I have space for you guys to see, but if someone sits up, you're just gonna, you know, push them off. So come again. So I would expect that the guy has the hands in the mat. Yes. Just here, that's fine. Look, I'm gonna put my elbow in. Now, the basic approach, the way I was taught in the beginning was just to, you know, block the hip and, you know, make space, make space, and you get the knee in. If you can do that, great, perfect. That works fine. Um, but sometimes it's not always that easy if the guy's heavy and, you know, I'm small, I can't really get in. Uh, just open up a little bit here. So, you put your weight a little bit on me. Yes. So, I want to use this foot here. I'm going to turn to the side and I really want to start getting my knee in front here. As soon as I get my, just keep your foot down. See, when I get my knee in front of his, his foot, if he pops his leg over my leg, just pop it, yes. Perfect, that's what I want. If I get here, that's what I want. I'm gonna trap his foot, boom. That's like the first step. This is what I, I, I need to do. And, you know, I don't wanna turn too much to the side. When, if I start to escape the mound and I turn sideways, I'm basically giving him an injury to my back or to the, mm -hmm. to the technical mound. You're gonna slide your knee up and lift his knee up. Yes, exactly. And now it's, it's harder for me to escape the, the mound. So, let's turn here. So I want to keep my back flat. I have my knee in. I keep my, my, my back flat on the mat. My foot comes down. And it's basically more of just my hip turning. I, I stay flat up here. Because he wants to slide up with this knee and do, do the technical mount. I'm still blocking. If I turn, I give him the, the entry there. So I'm flat. Now really, you have to feel here. It's all about getting my knee in front of his shin. If I don't have my knee in, I'm just bumping my knee towards his heel. So I'm gonna come in here, and I have to find the, try and keep the foot heavy. Because when the foot is heavy, look, I can't get it, so I'm gonna open it up, I'm gonna open it up, look. Kinda creates an awkward angle on your leg, you feel it? Dangerous indeed, yes. It's, it, it's, it's not a submission in any way at all. That's not really what I'm trying. It just creates an awkward angle that makes it easy for me, look. When the leg's heavy, my other leg comes over and I drag the foot over. Boom. So I'm using this. That's what makes my hip heavy, my back heavy. Sometimes you have to shake, you have to find the space here. Whoops, oh, my knee came in. I open up, my heel comes over, boom. As soon as I have this, I, I, you often find me in this position here. I know that I'm basically free. I'm not gonna turn too much. If he wants to sit up and, and like go for my back, um, you know, actually just sit back. Let's just do the basic steps here. I trap the foot. Now, I know that the next step, I need to move. Here I can chill a little bit, I can relax, you know, I have the foot, but the moment I decide to go for the next move, I can't stop. I'm gonna pop this leg out, boom. But I'm not gonna stop, I'm gonna use my toes, and now I'm gonna turn out to the side. And if he has his arms out, I'm just gonna grab the head, my elbow blocks the other side, I bring my knee in, foot behind the back, I move out, I move out, See, he gives me a lot of space. I would expect him when I come here to kind of lock the elbows down. Yes. So you can grab the elbow and there's some details here. I want to point my knee up. If my knee is pointing out to the side, you just put the weight down, just put the weight down. Relax, relax. Just put your knees, but just put your weight down here. So you can, yes, exactly, here. It's hard to get my knee out. So look, I kind of bring my knee straight up. Instead of out to the side, go straight up. Grab the elbow and I use this to kind of And I'm back to the close guard. So, mount again. I'm here. Let's say you're a little bit higher. So my elbows is trapped. Knees together, yes. So I'm gonna play with this movement and get my elbow inside. Whoops. I turn my hip, not so much my, my shoulders, my hip, my leg. I need to start moving here. Whoops, look. As soon as my knee comes in, just bring your foot back. My knee comes in, I open up, I open up. I drag it in. As soon as I take the next step, here I can chill, but I know that as soon as I take the next step, um, and there's some details here. I'm gonna pop his leg over, and in this step I'm gonna turn right to the side, so look, boom. You might even move, uh, practice this a little bit, just come back, boom, over, come back, boom. That's a good little move to do. My upper body is pushing down, at the same time my leg comes up, boom. My toes is here, I'm going to turn. 
I don't really want to turn just flat. If I turn flat, he's gonna come on me and he's gonna do like you know, he's gonna crush me here and he's gonna start passing again. So come back. So the moment I come in here, boom, I'm gonna turn all the way out. You could use, you know, uh, you could use the underhook to turn out. That, that's all fine too. My knee comes in, out. I like to grab the head. This is like a very fundamental approach to keep him down, get the elbow. I move out, and I have to come back. If you are, I like to, to play here and kind of, um, how do I escape the mount to the butterfly? Bottom? How do I escape the mount to, um, to a leg lasso or, or something like that? So I'm elbow in, I turn, pull on, the steps are the same, my knee comes in, I open up, beat it. Boom. As soon as I eat this, I'm going to turn right away. And I like to do knee shield guard too. When I turn, and I get my knee in. It's a good position to right here. Pull out, and I can come out. Boom. Or I can put my foot in. I have the butterfly. It usually has a white belt. I would recommend uh, um, learning how to know the set of the to close up. So you're up against a big guy, sometimes the close guard might be the safest place to be. Let's try it out. I'll just do one last one. So <coughs> the detail in the beginning is elbow in. Now the knee, the tip of the knee has to find his shin here, turning. I'm not turning my other body, it's just my hip down here. Whoops. As soon as I find the shin, I open up, I drag it with my heel bump. Now basically you are, you're out of the mound. Now you just need the next steps here. Pull on. Come back. You can play with this a little bit. Turn. I like to take this hand out and go for the head. So I'm going to the other side. My knee comes in. I take this hand out for the arm. Move. Move. Let's try it out. Let's play with it. If you need any help, just ask, okay? Okay, so Tuesday, let's go here. One, two. So, I mean, since we had some... What's your name here? Yeah, you were asking if you, you didn't know if you were sitting on your ankles or on your toes. If your toes is up and you're on your toes, this is not really a good position in the mound. And it's too easy for me to look. When I go in, it's like, this, I, I take the foot easy. Now, I'm going to do the same move here. Elbow in, I'm going to start moving out. But this time here, actually, He's super flexible. I mean, if I, I, I do a lot of yoga and stuff, I have a good flexibility here, so I'm almost flat here. There's no space. Some people not so flexible, just open up, no, that's okay. So, you know, you come in, there's so much space, you almost get it. Just by getting my knee under, I just take it easy. But some people are super flexible. So, you know, just doesn't, the leg is too heavy, it doesn't go. So, I'm gonna switch. You know, this I would call like a heel drag. Here, look, I'm gonna put my toes and I, Scoop it in. So this doesn't work. So I'll take my toes and I, whoops. Now here I'm gonna lift with my elbow and my foot. Now I like to, you can go in here and trap, boom, that's fine. And now I have the, the position. Basically, I just let go. If you want, you can escape with an underhook. But if you escape with an underhook and the guy is away, he's gonna lock my, uh, elbow, my underhook down over here. Yes, <laughs> no, no, no. Just, just stay, just stay on him, that's fine. I, I don't really move out. So if you're trapped, it might be better to just take the hand out because you can use the hand here to really bring him out. Yes. I mean, to add more detail. If he's laying flat on you here, just lay, yes, here. Here, it's, it's hard to escape out. I don't really have much movement when I use this foot to escape. So in this case, you have to switch. Like here, I have like my outside leg foot, you have to switch. <coughs> more stuff in your leg. When I switch, now I can really move my hip up. I can come in. So if I have the outside leg hook here, I don't have much movement and I don't find space. Now we're the same weight, but if, in my case, you're rolling guys to 90 kilos and they're laying flat, you know, yes, you don't find the space. Switch. And sometimes there is no space. You have to wait. What is he going to do here? I have a decent position to escape sometimes, like a competition or something. You really want to get out, you might have to ride me. Rich. Whoops, find the space. Now this knee points straight over here. Whoops. And see here, my arm is straight. He's heavy here. My arm gets trapped. Just walk down. Yes. Let's take it out. And I just put the knee down here. Yes, here. And I'm going to move out. So, here. After you're sitting up here, my knee is 
start shaking here, you know, I'm flat, but I start shaking, finding the space. If I just want to go in a straight line, it doesn't work. I have to shake, I have to find space. But he's heavy, it doesn't work. So I put my toes under. As soon as my toes are ready, I move my knee. Under, lift, trap, move out. He's heavy here. I, I might just take the arm out and I use this. My knee's already there, I move. Knee comes in, I'm gonna, see I'm trapping the foot. There's a, a little bit of detail here. I'm gonna start bringing my knee up, moving my hip out, and as soon as I move my hip out, when I'm in the center, that's when I take the foot out. Because if I stay, that's gonna kind of lock me, but I'm still locking him here, so I start moving, boom, foot. Escape again. I would say as a white belt, it's always good to know how to get to the close guard. What are your steps getting to the, to the close guard? That's a good basic approach to have. How do I get to the close guard? Of course, when you're a black belt, you don't always have to go to the close guard. You can play with whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, it doesn't work. I don't want it. I live. Cool. I like to come out and, and play with... You know, I like to do guard here, so that's fine too. But for a basic approach or a fundamental approach, it's good to know how to get to the close guard. So, that's one. Try that. Yeah, look, shake, shake, find the space. Doesn't work, he's too heavy. Okay, I go under. Lift. Good. Move out. He's too heavy, I can't really find the space. So I switch. Inside leg hook, outside leg hook. Inside leg hook. Here I'm kind of stuck. If he's sitting on his knees, he's sitting on his knees. Yes, here I can use it easily. Boom. But if he's flat on the side, on this side, just open up. Yes, here I can have space. So I switch. The outside leg gives me more ability to move my hip out. Whoops. Now I'm going to move, bite the back, take my hand out, open up, have the close guard. Any questions? Just ask. But try it out. Really that in the beginning is it's this stuff here, shaking, finding the space here. Either the heel drag or like a, a hook. Whoops. Lift, trap. You can do that. Your the next step comes on that. That's right. One, two. That's gonna be a dinner. And then that's gonna be a Oliver's or uh, Oli's class, um, the octopus card. And then that's going to be open mat. So if you want to train more while, just come to the open mat. Let's do 10 more minutes just of this thing. Uh, um, like I often say, there's some, um, you ask, if you can take the back. Yes, you can take the back. You can use the underhook. You can get, you can do whatever you want as soon as you escape the mount. Whatever guard you like, you should practice to get there. Um, but if you can't escape the mount, you know, it's, it doesn't matter what guard you do. It's, it'll, you'll not get there if you, if you can't escape. Um, Let's add one thing to it here, especially for a fundamental approach. If you're a beginner and, like I said, it's good to know the, 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 the small little steps of how to get to the close guard. For safety. You know, it's, it's, you, you go ahead. So, so I want to add something to it here. So, elbows in, see his knees are open. It gives me good space to, to find the space. Whoops, open up. I eat it. Now, not something that, that we're going to go into today, but if he's on me here, he's just like lock, and you, 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 yes, he's like this. You know, how do I escape here? You know, I circle and his leg stays. We're not going to do it today, but there's also ways to play with this. Whoops, I'm going to go here, remove. I'm going to kill this, and I put my own leg on top of my own leg. Boom. So when I kill this foot, I kill on the mat. The moment I remove my toes, my foot is flat. Because if his legs are he's not going to allow my foot. So we can also play with the heel. So I'm going to circle. I feel this, I put an arm on top. So the moment I remove this leg, my foot is flat. I come. Mm -hmm. I have to do what I want. I pop the leg out. Now look, yes, I have the underhook, but like I was saying over here, if he's highly aware of my underhook and my, and, you know, my back attack ability here, he will lock me down. And if he locks me down, my arm is trapped. It doesn't do anything anymore. So it's better to find a way to get it out. Because when it's out, I can use it to kind of move him to the side. When I move him to the side, I can 
have a better ability to escape my hip and to come in. Now, the moment I come here, this is the, the move we're gonna do now. I know, he knows that I wanna get to the front spot. So, when I move out, even this arm here, you know, if I'm under and he's heavy and he traps my arm, he doesn't do anything here. I might as well just take it out so I can grab the elbow, but he locks me down here. You know, I want, if he's loose here and he gives me the space, this is the easy, easy uh, um, way. Whoops, I close. But he's heavy here. He does, I can't, I want to try. It doesn't work. Now look, I'm going to switch to the other side. One hand on the head. You can do both hands on the head or hand, shoulder. I'm trying this side. It doesn't work. One, two, I escape out. You can either look, put the foot out and I close the guard. Or if you want to do open guard, you just come in. You know, then you'll start playing with whatever you want to do from here. So, this is this position here. He locks me down. You know, I, I'm trying. It doesn't work. He's too heavy or, you know, it's, it doesn't work for me. So, one, two, foot on the mat. One, two, foot. One, two, foot. Escape out. I think I'm going out here. He's it. I'm trying, I'm not using energy, I'm just showing him. It's not like I'm here, I'm just showing him when I get out. I'm relaxed, I'm trying. One, two, out, foot out, boom. I close it. Or, if you want to do open guard, you know, it's, this is not a good spot for me in a, in a way, you know. Because if I don't get out here, he might start to put the knee between my butt and sit off the side, kick my leg. So he's gonna come in, start to cross the here, and he's gonna start past my guard. Come back. Oh, it's good to have both sides, you know. So I show this one doesn't work. One, two, foot on the mat, escape. You can put the knee in, another foot on the hip, and I'm back. So you get to here. You're escaping. Boom. I wanna, you know, do the last move. Look, my hands are out. Head, elbow, I move. He's locking me down over here, he doesn't give me the space. So one, two, foot on the mat, escape out. And, and if you can do this, you know, I often when I train, it's not, um, I don't even try to sweep. I don't even try to, uh, to, to uh, do submissions, you know. I just wanna, I just allow the other person to take a few steps forward and then I wanna get back to my guard. And I get back to my guard. I like to be here. And it's usually in the transitions that you start, whoops, okay. He thought I was going back to my guard because that's what I did the last two, three times. But then the fourth time, boom, I go for the one fly, I go for the triangle, or I go for a sweep or something. You know? Let's try this the last seven minutes. So the other guy's gonna lock down. You go one, two, foot on the mat, you escape the other side, foot of the hip, knee in, and you have your open guard you can do. Whatever guard you want. That's all up to you. Let's go. One, two.